It's morning world, so it's about half four in the morning. Just getting up to rain. The only bleeps I got last night was uh, probably just before midnight because uh, on my, which rod was it? Rear rod. So that's middle rod, which is a couple of bleeps. And that's 16 and a half wraps out just on the edge of the weed. And straight out in front of me. And then uh, a couple of bleeps this morning. On the, on the left one, but to my surprise, when I open the divvy door, it's the fellow swans. So yeah, nothing much to report at the moment. I don't know if Danny's had anything yet. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. I think I've just seen a fish just, just in the background there, just, just stick its head out. Oh, there we go, this one just there, close in. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Hopefully, oh, and again, look. I don't know if you can see that. Just to the right of my rods. Just milling about, just underneath the surface. Well, here comes the rain again, so yeah, I'll just uh, probably speak to you later on, hopefully when this rain stops, so yeah, it's in a bit guys. Morning guys, hope you're well, so yeah, not much to really report really, I mean it's just stopped raining, uh, we just got the rods still out at the moment, a lot of fish cruising, cruising about as well. Definitely along the weed bed behind us. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely stunning. Proper special. How about that? Not bad morning's view, is it? So, just moved, moved across to the far end of the lake um, for this morning's fishing. Uh, I've seen a few fish over, over in the bay, over in that corner. So I don't know if you can see them them posts. Got one there and one there. So I've got one just to the right of that post in the bay. And I've got one to the right of that post. And then just come forward to the edge of that weed. And there's a gravel bar. And I've just dropped one just probably just in that gap but closest to the weed. They're just in a gravel bar. So I've just seen one fish just come back in the swim after I waded out to to put the rods out. Free casts, that was it, dunk dunk dunk. Didn't want to cause too much commotion. Even though I had to wade, wade back round to the peg after casting out. But yeah. So got one on a, on a running rig. There's only a white 15mm pop-up. That's white spice from niche baits. And then we've got, um, on my right rod, we've got that on um, a 15mm um, trigger with half of white spice 15mm tip. It's just on a bog standard rig. And then on uh, my left rod, we've got that on a multi rig. Uh, again with uh, 
Oh, I got that one. No, I think I've got that one on. Right, sorry. So, the right runs on the bog standard rig with um, white spice and trigger. The middle ones on um, some of pink wafter. Totally forgot the name of it now. But yeah, that's on there. And then on the left rod, there's a white spice on the running rig. Yeah. That seems about right. There you go. But yeah, sorry about that. So now it's just sitting, sitting waiting in this beautiful view. Old Matto over there in the boat. Sun beaming down on his head. He's put a cloth on his head. Stop the heat. Quite warm today. Yeah. So hopefully next time, guys. Uh, we get into a fish. Lovely day for it, like. I'll speak to you soon. Hey guys, what's up? I'm upside down. That's probably a bit better. There you go. Hey guys, what's up? So yeah, um, I'm just sitting here out of the sun. It's like um, it's like a million degrees, and uh, yeah, I'm, I've got the rods in the bay. There was a few fish in there earlier. Oh, excuse me, and uh, yeah, they've moved off. Off now. Pure to my um, bad casting skills. Um, yeah, I just uh, spooked them off casting, but hopefully they'll they'll come back. And I shall uh, wait and see. I've already had one today, which was a nice little, nice little mirror, really pretty little thing, about six pound, you know, um, semi fish, like a semi fish, but yeah, absolutely stunning, stunning. Uh, scales on it and that as well so, yeah so uh, hopefully I can get some more from from here as well we've just got to wait and see see what happens but yeah it's, it's just too hot it's like, it's like a million degrees you know next few days is supposed to get a bit a bit cooler but yeah it's bloody well hot so yeah just got my rods out I'll probably have them out here to about 10 and then go back to my swim and then stick my rods out there. There's only four of us on the lake this evening, so we're gonna, gonna see what happens. Um, I might possibly move tomorrow if I don't get any carp off my spot, but I just put a load of bait out, so a particle, um, which contains of, um, it's a pigeon conditioner. You get it from like WCF, it's only like 11.99. Uh, for 20 kilos, so it does like 40 kilos. So if you're interested in in particle, then yeah, why not go for WCF, get your own particle from there. You just got to cook it yourself, obviously. But but yeah, so I put a load of that out. Um, I already had a bream yesterday as well, uh, about 10 pound. That's back in the in the in the day ticket late now. So. Bream coming out of the syndicate and going across over there, so we just got to see what happens now for the rest of the night. So, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Check out that 17 pound. <laughs> <laughs> 
17 pound common taking on a uh, trigger, took the white spice, about 11 mod levels out. Absolutely awesome. Look at that. What a little beauty. Well happy with that. Alright, we'll slip her back. And there you go guys, the result of that screamer that you've just seen just happen there is this absolute, another 17 pound common, uh, it's taken on the white spice uh, over in the bay area, absolutely melted off, I wonder what was going on, um, but yeah, cannot believe it, happy days, big love, stunning. Just pop back to my peg where I've been baiting up with particle, uh, flip the rods out, and at two o'clock in the morning, I screamed after this absolute stunner of a common, 17 pound. So, just had a thunderstorm, literally just finished. Oh, and there you go. How about that? Tail on that thing, 16 pound two mirror. Absolute brilliant. Had to go into my waders, almost took me to my limit. But well happy with this. My second mirror, big mirror-ish mirror of the, uh, of the year. Yeah. 15 pounder back in March, and then we've had uh, a little little mirror yesterday, about seven pound, and then 16 pound two ounce mirror. Look at that, absolute beauty. Show you the other side. Yeah, just landed, just landed a mirror. She's absolutely beautiful. 16 pound, two ounces. She was absolutely amazing. So well, well happy with that, to be honest. Old original, wood carving of a fish like, so um, yeah, definitely, yeah. Definitely well worth it. Uh, it took me to the limit to my waders like. I had to go in for it as it just weeded itself like, you know. So, but I've still got fish over me now as well, so taking on uh, Plum and Kaproc, Kaporic, uh, Nutri Baits, bright pink, uh, which is working really well. So that's doing the, doing the business so far. But yeah, it's uh, my third mirror of the season, which is, which is good. I had one about 15 pounds back in March, if you watched um, the first vlog we did this year. Um, and then, uh, yeah, yesterday I had my second mirror, 
about seven, eight pounds, something like that. And then, yeah, nice to get one of the old originals. I just need, uh, just need their mothers to show now. That's all, you know. Um, lost, lost four fish as well because of the weed. Just they just get in it and they just get jammed up, and I can't get to them with my waders because they're just too deep. You know, so I've just got to just keep keep the pressure on. Hopefully they come out and. Yeah, I'll get them back a little bit and then because of the weed pressure on the line it's just dropping dropping the hook out of the mouth and it's it's annoying like but these things happen that's that's fishing you know I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I haven't lost any because that would be lying huh? true you know it's it's all true so yeah uh put trigger out there so I need to go do that actually just fire a few more boilies out there actually because that's a that's the third fish now I've had from that bit without putting bait out so I'll put some more bait out keep the fish interested and maybe we get a few more for the rest of the evening but apart from that yeah four more days to go see you soon there we go guys a new fish for the pond called Nemo I uh, haven't seen it before uh, but yeah, absolutely beautiful fish, stunning, an old original uh, wood carving from this lake again. But yeah, roughly around 14 pound, 14, 15 pound. I can't remember the exact weight on this, uh, but pictures courtesy of Mr. Alistair Kirkwood uh, popped down for the evening to see how we're getting on. And yeah, absolutely one toner this one was, so yeah, it was absolute quality. But yeah, white spice again, I believe this one had taken uh, from out of the bay. But yeah, what an absolute peach. Happy days, mate. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, guys, I don't know if you can see this, but that fish there, it's a leviathan. That's over my middle rod. It keeps coming up to the weed bank. It keeps circling round. And going back out and going over my left rod and coming back into my right rod there's another fish there just showing again to the right hand side and just had a massive clap of thunder as well but yeah i can't believe it like i just I had a mirror an absolute cracking mirror earlier on Around around 15, well, I didn't weigh it, so it's probably around 13 to 15 pound, I would say, easily. But yeah, so uh, I believe this fish is going to pick up one of them baits in the next hour. It just constantly just circling. So. I was going to reel one of them rods in and, and stick one under the tree to my right because I've seen a lot of fish there as well but it did go quiet for about an hour and we didn't see anything, anything at all and then I thought about like, oh, what's going on, why are the fish here Then Ali, Ali walked round and then just literally about 10 minutes ago like these fish have come back so the, the mirror that I caught earlier was off, off the left rod, which was um, that was a white spice 14 mil. The middle rod that is on a pink uh, plum and caporic 18 mil. That one. So that's just sitting out there. My, my right rod, which is in the channel that I've made. Just pretty much in line with that bit of grass, really. Um, yeah, that's out there over a better part call, and that's on a trigger ice, super buoyant pop up. So yeah, so I'm just 
just now, hoping, waiting and praying something's going to happen. Six fish landed on the bank now. Four fish to the weed. Let's see what happens this evening. But yeah, what a place. Bit of excitement. Bit of wind's going to blow back in here tomorrow, but I'm going to nip home, get showered, get some fresh bait, and then see what happens. For the uh, last three nights, well, two nights in a day that I'm here. So oh, yeah, there you go, you see that fish just pushed to the, right to the back now, right to the back by the post on the left, it's just showing itself there, and maybe, just maybe, one of those viewies will go soon. Speak to you soon. There we go guys, how about that? Absolute stunning, fully scaled, 15 pound on the button, absolutely amazing. What we'll do, we'll get back. Oh, wow, very, very, very appreciated. Remember the first time I seen this come out, it was about just over ten pound, put on five pounds since then. Absolutely amazing. So guys, whew, tonight, tomorrow night left. It's gonna be uh Yeah, it's gonna be weird. Strange feeling in the air tonight. It really is. Uh bream intent of just just finished spawning. Um, I lost a decent carp this morning. Just still pulled like this, and just yeah, just pulled like as it was just plowing towards the weed. So I think that's two decent fish now I've lost due to the weed. But hey ho, it's fishing. You know we're we're here to fish, not. It's not called catching, it's called fishing, so yeah. So all rods are set tonight. Um, I've got one just behind me on the on the peg that's that's really close to me. Um so yeah, one just straight out. And then I've got one into the shallows. And they're fully scaled there this morning at uh what time was that? Ten to three, I believe it was. 10 to 3 or 5 to 3, something like that, yeah. So that was that was a nice surprise. And then uh, I've seen bubbles already come up on, on my area, just just to my right. But yeah, so... Yeah, I've had my dinner. I had a chicken curry tonight, which was quite tasty. Just gonna sit back and watch the sunset. How about that? Absolutely amazing, isn't it? Yeah. I can honestly say I'm honoured to fish this lake. You know, it's, it's amazing. It is. It's not massive fishing here. I'm, I'm not a big fish hunter. You know, I like catching these fish every single year just to purely see see the same fish but also see them grow you know like we, we've caught them since they were like 10 to 12 pound and now we're catching them around almost 20 pound like you know some of them some of them even bigger and there's one special fish in this lake 
but we will have to wait and see for her. But anyway, enough of me waffling on. I'm going to take my shoes off now, enjoy the sunset, and hopefully a fish or two for this evening. There you go. I'll speak to you in the morning, guys. There we go. Got fish in this patch. 17 pound. Morning guys, so it's my final day, um, well it's my final full day, I come off tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon before the, um, before the rain hits, so uh, the bream have spawned um, and the carp at the moment, <laughs> it's like Christmas for them, they're just absolutely troughing up the bream eggs. So I'm gonna try and get get a bread bomb amongst them and see if I can I can get one out. Um, there's a lot of fish there as well. I'm just gonna have a, have a coffee and then just see see exactly what's going on. But yeah, at the moment, just they're just there. Tails are coming out, fins are coming out, carp sticking their heads out. You know, just loads. So I'm gonna give it. Another what half hour, 45 minutes with with my rods where they are till probably about 11 o'clock, and then get them shifted. There's carp all over. They're feeding all over the lake. So, but yeah. So hopefully we can we can try and nab one. Oh man, the carp just rolled right in front of me. Really, just at the tip of my rod dips. So, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can zoom in. You might, might see the carp in a minute. But there you go. Yeah, see, that's where they're feeding. So, we're gonna get a bread bomb on that, and hopefully. Hopefully things might might improve. The free carp last night, biggest being 17 pound 15. Um, yeah, and then uh, one small, short, round, fat, dumpy common, and one one stocky mirror, which got put back in the um, in the small lake. So, yeah. So we're gonna have my coffee and gonna see what happens. So I'll speak to you guys soon. Hey guys, so yeah, just come for a little walk. Uh, so this Sunday is Father's Day and unfortunately um, I won't be fishing, but I have got to dine and all day tomorrow to go. And um, what I'm gonna try and do is obviously uh, my biggest fish at the moment is seven. 17.15 so that's from this trip but um, what I'm going to do is try and get a bigger fish you know I know there's a few around me and um, I've lost two decent sized fish at the moment as well which is a bit a bit annoying but what I'm going to try and do as well is uh, when I land 
if I catch a big fish, I'm gonna double the weight and donate it to cancer research through through a bite out of cancer, obviously. Um, you know, just just in memory of my old man, and then that's my gift gift to him. You know, uh, for for Father's Day because I can't I can't take him out for a meal, and I can't um, you know buy him a present, but I can do this in honour of him, and that's what I'm gonna do. So if you're out in the bank this weekend, guys. It'd be really nice if, if you guys can do that for a loved one who's, who, who you've lost by cancer as well, which would be which would be absolutely awesome. So yeah, that's my way to say thank you to them and uh, show appreciation. So yeah, I'll speak to you soon, guys. You take care. Big love. So, I know it's not the biggest of the lake, but when you get them like this, oh my days. Look at that, definitely a fish for the future. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. But for now, this little beauty is going back. Absolutely amazing. Wow, wind's pond. What the future holds. Fully scaled mirror about, about four pound. Absolute beautiful fish. You know, not the biggest fish. It's not, not that disappointing to be honest, because it was such an amazing, an amazing fish on it. will be definitely most fish caught so far uh, on these logs. I'll be telling you all about it. Uh, so there you go. So I said, I'm going to do it. Not bad, eh? Anyway, guys, hopefully I'll speak to you during the night.
so that's it guys one week done 12 fish well cap one bream uh, yeah lost five pain in the bum but yeah biggest one being 17 pound 15 so as i promised that one will be getting doubled and donated to cancer research through a bite out of cancer but absolutely lashing it down <laughs> yeah. absolutely well and truly coming down so i'm going to get the rest of my stuff get myself home have a sausage casserole sit back relax and spend some well needed time with the missus but apart from that guys i shall see you in a couple of weeks when we're back out on the bank tight lines look after yourselves <laughs>